Hey, good morning, people. It's Sunday, May 1st. It is 11.44 a.m. Still morning, technically, but, you know, a few minutes before lunch. Anyway, I finished two more journals for the month of April, and now I need to prep the ones for May. And I need to pull the word lists and all that stuff. So we're going to get that done, and I'll be right back. just before 10 a.m. Monday, May 2nd. The only quiet day this week. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have, the rest of the days are full of appointments and things. Anyway, we're supposed to dog sit this week um, and we're gonna dog sit Lily here uh, because the kids are going, two of the kids are going out of town. Well, all the kids are going out of town. So we're gonna do uh, dog sit for Rebecca and Polyus. And then we're supposed to also cat sit for Jenny and Brian because they're also go, supposed to go out of town. However, late last night, we got a message from them that cats, something's wrong with the cat. He's sick or something, Biscuit. His name is Biscuit. And um, they had to take him to the 24 hour vet. So I am not sure what's going on with that and it, or if their plans are gonna have to change or I don't have any idea. So I'm um, waiting to hear about that. Um, we also have the furnace people coming down for annual inspection and all of that. And we have, I have counseling and, 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 yeah, it's a lot. Anyway, I got all my Monday morning work done yesterday. So I'm just up here making sure a few things get posted that couldn't be scheduled. And then I think I'm going to turn on, um, my soap opera, General Hospital, been watching it since the 1970s or whenever it start, first came to TV. I don't know. Um, maybe one of you all know. Leave it down below. I remember watching it on our old black and white TV. Anyway, um, I am going to sit and catch up on those episodes um, while I work and try to work in and see if I can finish this gel pen journal. I'm really, I said before, not a super huge fan of the gel pen. And if you're watching this, you've already seen maybe some of my posts this week in Facebook groups that I'm members of and stuff. Gel pens are just not my favorite. I keep struggling with them, but, and this is like dead. It has just teeny tiny bit of ink in it. I may try to pull the cartridge out and stick it in a, like something of water to see if I can soak the rest of the color out just cause I'm cheap and I love the color, but yeah, this is dead. I had to grab a new one and order actually some more. Uh, anyway, my brain's all over the place this morning, but you know, what are you going to do? All right.
I'll be back. So I always think, you know, I'm just really not a huge fan of gel pens. I'm not working on that journal. Maybe I should get rid of them. And then I sit and do something and go, oh yeah, they're kind of fun, maybe. Maybe it's the bag I was keeping them in and that was why I didn't use them much. Um, I have these other pen bags that I use for my other stuff downstairs and they um, have pen loops in them. So I'm wondering if I organize them in that and sort of force myself to do my daily drawings and journaling plus one page in either this or my watercolor journal every day. If that might work. If you got any ideas about how to use products that you just maybe kind of like and maybe kind of don't want to get rid of, but uh, effective ways to incorporate them into your stuff, like on a daily basis or regular basis, let me know, because yeah, struggling. All right, I'm gonna finish watching General Hospital and do some more drawing and I guess set up this other drawing bag. I'll be back. So, you know, I took the gel pens and the journal I was drawing with upstairs with the idea that I would leave them up there and maybe I would let them go because anyway, it's back in the bag. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> got some artwork work done today. Got some chores done today. I'm going to go upstairs and grab husband's lunch dishes because I need to start the dishwasher. And of course, it's raining on and off again today. It's like 50 something outside. We're supposed to have a day where it's like 72. That's assuming the storm clouds go away. I don't know, I'm freezing again. All right, I'll be back. Funny Monday. So I random, we randomly find out, of course, Grand Kit Biscuit is, Grand Kit, Grand Kitten Biscuit is not well, and which isn't great, but it means I have one less thing on my plate this week because his parents aren't going out of town. I, thought I was going to be purging and getting rid of the gel pens and I ended up making three doodles with them. I'll put them here. I'm here and repackaging them and bringing them back downstairs. Got a nice message from a friend of mine I haven't spoken to in a, a little bit. It hasn't been too long and then I just randomly got a message from one of my nieces in Iowa that I rarely hear from out of the blue asking me about watercolor paint so it's a, all good it's just a weird day welcome to Monday hey everybody it is I don't know what time 8 27 a.m we have annual furnace inspection and plumbing inspections and things going on this morning so people in and out of the house and yeah, it's a thing. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. Um, what time is it? 9.35 a.m. Wednesday, May 3rd, I think. It's gonna be a busy day today. I've got a bunch of errands to run this morning, then I've got a couple projects to work on, and then I've gotta take daughter to the airport because she's flying to California for one of her dear friends' wedding. And Bob is going to stay at home while I do that because he's going to be one, watching the dog, grand dog, and two, he's got a phone call with India. So anyway, we are going to go run some errands. I've got to mail some stuff to my niece Sarah in Iowa. Sarah, if you're watching this, the package is going to go out today. I'll send you tracking. And got to pick up some groceries and, 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 I don't know what else we'll get up to. We might stop at Goodwill, we might not, I don't know. It's kind of early, Goodwill I don't think opens until 10, so we'll see. I'll be back. back from the airport but I guess I'm not just sitting in doing my daily drawings and stuff 
We're taking Spaz out for a walk. And no, I'm not talking about Bob. I'm talking about the dog. Not this time. Yeah, no, not this time. So anyway, we're going to go take her for a walk. It's after eight o'clock, but you know, it's all right. I'll be back. Okay, it's been a bit. It's just about three o'clock and I have gotten through my counseling session, the contractor coming over to measure the kitchen, um, the gardener coming, and, and, UPS, um, sorry, squirrel, and reorganizing and straightening at, le straightening at least the bottom two thirds of one side of the closet. So I at least got this side done. I have a bag of trash, a bag of donations. There is one bin up there that one I need to think about. It's wool felting stuff. Because I bought it thinking I would like it and I'm not sure that I do. So that's a thing. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah. And there's random stuff stuck between the bins that I need to, I need to take care of that. So I need to relabel some drawers. I need to find a place to put my next batch of rocks be, until they're painted. So I need to get a little bit out for that. And yeah, things are going along nicely. I'm remembering to breathe, taking things slowly and um, being kind to myself. Yes. All right. That's it for the minute. Let me go get a bin and I'll be back.
Friday afternoon? I think it's Friday. Do you hear that? It's dumping rain again. It's not even just raining or pouring rain. It's dumping rain again. It's been doing that on and off all day. I seriously doubt we're taking crazy pants for a WALK tonight. Anyway, I haven't gotten much of anything done other than dishes and a few chores because I started working on a new project today and now I'm just totally obsessed. It's been something I've been thinking about for at least a year, talked to my counselor, got a thumbs up from her. She says it's a great idea. Checked with my sister, Elizabeth, whom I trust dearly. She also, I sent her some snippets. She's like, yes, you have to do this. And so, yeah, holy cow. It's really raining. The gutters are just, it's a river. Dear God. It's a river of water down our driveway. I don't know if you can see that. It took me a, quite a while to get this project done, get a first draft written. There's a hint. Um, it has to go out to people to have them check it, get opinions, all the things for the things because of the things. But it feels good to do it. I'm completely obsessed, which is usually a good sign. And so anyway, if nobody likes it except me, I'm okay with that. So there you go. All right. I don't think that's going to be the case, but anyway. All right. I will be back. I'm going to go for a walk. We're supposed to have clear weather for about 30 minutes. So yeah, we're going to go get some steps in. I'll be back. walk through the mud to get pictures of the ducks. And you think I'm kidding? Yeah, not so much. We're in the car again. It's Saturday morning. It's about 10.25 a.m. May 7th. Lily is not happy about being in her crate while grandma and grandpa go out without her. She was whining when we left, poor thing. Anyway, we are gonna go run to the grocery store really quick and to her house to pick up their mail and then we'll be back. And if it's not raining, we'll take her for a walk. Yeah. I can actually say the word because she's not in the car. So we'll see what happens. All right. Okay, so like yesterday, we're gonna try to go get some walking in and take Crazy Pants, AKA Lily Grand Dog, for okay. some steps and to do her business before it dumps again. I don't know. I've got an umbrella in my pocket just in case. <laughs> we'll see. Then I think we're going to spend the afternoon. I'm going to do some sketching. I think we might watch a movie. I've got a couple chores I need to do first, but I think it's just going to be a chill, relaxing afternoon and I can't say I'm mad at it. So let's go get some steps in and see what else we can get up to. I also heard there's a new resale shop in the neighborhood, but I don't think I'm going to get there today, but definitely need to check it out sometime soon. I'll be back. Hey guys, yet again, it is 11.04 p.m. on Saturday, May 7th, and I haven't closed the vlog yet. <laughs> it's just been a relaxing day of running a few errands. We did some chores, took the dog for a walk. I know the lighting is weird because it's late. Um, we're still working on this vintage puzzle from the 1930s. It has no picture. The box looks like that. There's no, yeah, anyway. I'm working on it very slowly. Um, and we watched some movies. I didn't get a lot of sketching done um, because we were doing other stuff, but we weren't doing anything super important. I did get a little bit, but not a lot. Hopefully I can get some more done tomorrow. It's difficult with the dog. It's like having a toddler in the house, only she's got four paws, so you know. Anyway, we hope you've all had a good week and yours was hopefully maybe calmer and less crazy than ours was. I know I probably didn't show it all on camera, but it was a week filled with appointments and contractors and phone calls and just like one thing after the other, including puppy sitting. Um, our schedule was a little bit lighter because our grand cat Biscuit got sick, unfortunately, but it was still nuts, so anyway. Just remember, take my advice. It's okay to say no. Don't do, don't be me. Say no. Anyway, 
All right, so I hope you've had a good week. I hope you have a great week next week. Um, don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Like, share, and subscribe, if you will. Check out the video description for relevant links, ways to support the channel, all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.